Tyler here with projectsinmetal.com. I wanted to take a few minutes and show you guys a quick shop tip um, and a good use for those little tiny pieces of scrap that end up in your scrap bin that, um, you know, if you're like me, you have a bunch of them but you don't really have a use for them. And that is turn them into a die for a real cheap homebrew punch and die set. For example, let's say you need a hole in a piece of shim stock, whether that shim stock be plastic or brass or some aluminum. Here I'm using a, a aluminum can. Um, all you need to do is find a drill the size of the hole that you're trying to punch. So in this case, this is a letter uh, letter size O, and drill a hole in the piece of scrap. And then flip the drill end for end in the tailstock, in the chuck in the tailstock, and use it as your punch. And you can get surprisingly good results. And, uh, you know, it's really a cheap way to get really any size you need from your drill index. So if you have a 115 piece drill index, you've got potentially. Um, you know, 115 different punches that you could make, although with the smaller punch sizes, uh, or with the smaller drill sizes, you'd probably end up bending or uh, breaking the drill bit if you tried to use it as a punch, but, you know, for the, some of the larger sizes, you know, from a, a eighth or a quarter of an inch on up, they work great as, um, as an impromptu punch. Now, one thing I will say, if you happen to have drill bits that have a chamfer on the back side of them like this one you're gonna need to grind that flat and so you end up touching it with the grinding wheel until you've got a nice flat um, surface to it and if you can give it a little bit of cup shape um, by using a small grinding wheel that'll help a little bit too because then you're not trying to punch all along the entire um, uh, diameter of, or I guess the entire circumference of the um, <clears throat> of the punch. So now one other tip that I'll say is if you want to make sure that your uh, material doesn't pucker when you punch it, make sure that you um, make sure that you don't take the die out of the three jaw chuck um, in between uses. For example, in this uh, piece of aluminum, you can see that this first hole was punched, uh, the top hole was punched when, um, a few days ago when I first uh, used this particular uh, die. The bottom hole, you can maybe see if I, yeah, there you go, you can see the, the pucker around it. I punched that uh, this afternoon in preparation for making this video, and you can see that the material puckered a little bit, and that's because... Uh, you know, I'm using a three-jaw chuck, um, which centers it pretty close, but it might be off by one or two or three thousandths of an inch. So either be really, really critical with how you set up the die each time you use it, or deal with having a little bit of a pucker to it if you've um, if you've removed and replaced the die in the three-jaw chuck. You could use a four-jaw chuck and dial it in if you wanted to, and probably get better results. But let me show you how this works. I'll insert the uh, aluminum, in this case a tin can. This is about five thousandths of an inch thick. And you just advance your tailstock until you've pressed through the aluminum. And there's your hole. So this, like I said, works with um, aluminum, which is what I just showed you. And it also worked with plastic, which this plastic is about 15 thousandths of an inch. Uh, it stretches a little bit, so um, that can be a, a little bit of a problem, but I could pick a different plastic, I suppose. And then this brass uh, is 10 thousandths of an inch thick, and you can see that it puckered also. And, and I, I did this brass this afternoon also after I'd removed the die from the, from the chuck. So I'm not sure if it would pucker quite as bad if... Um, if the die and the punch were centered perfectly, but, um, you know, this is a homebrew punch after all, so uh, I'm pretty happy with those results, even even with it uh, puckered a little bit. And then one last thing, um, give your die a good home. So I have, let me see if I can uh, show this to you. There we go. Um, these are those little miniature manila envelopes. 
So I just um, write the size of my die on the outside of the envelope and uh, then the corresponding drill size. So this is a, a die for a 316 thousandths hole and that's the letter drill size zero or uh, O, not zero. And then uh, I just throw the die in there and I keep these in kind of an organized section in my uh, on my shelf. So that's how I organize my uh, homebrew punch and dies. And uh, I hope this is a useful tip for you guys. If you have any comments or advice or chastisements, please feel free to uh, leave them below. And um, if you're viewing this video on my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. The YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash projects in metal. Thanks.